I have been hanging out in Puerto Viejo on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. It's a very different vibe here. It's very relaxed, very chilled. Hippie, you can call it that. Edgy, but in a very relaxed way. It's just a very nice place. It's, it's a no fret, no worries, no problems kind of place. Uh, there's plenty of beaches, there's plenty of restaurants, cafes, bars. I've been cycling between Puerto Viejo and Manzanillo, doing a bit of beach hopping on my bike. Okay, fine. Not all the way. <sighs> to be fair, there are some big hills and this bike has no gears and no brakes. So what do you expect? <laughs> Sorry. So one of the reasons that I was in Puerto Viejo is that I discovered an organization called ATEC, the Asociación Telemanqueña de Ecoturismo. I'll put a link down to it below. But basically they are a tourist organization who focuses on eco-tourism. So they have a whole range of different tours, I think something like 50 different tours, but all of them try to keep to certain principles and standards of sustainable tourism and sustainable travel. So, for example, um, they consider sustainable travel and sustainable transport, um, even getting to your tours and to your destination as part of your tours. Um, they consider things like um, looking after the environments and resources, but also they do quite a lot of tours that are very much rooted in community-based tourism, which is really something I wanted to find out more about. Um, essentially, community-based tourism is, is making sure that, firstly, you're looking after uh, local cultures and appreciating and understanding them but also that the money that you're providing as a tourist to a tour company actually goes back to those communities that you are visiting and that you are finding out about. So because I was particularly interested in community-based tourism and to understand what that was about, um, I decided to do a tour with Atec um, to go visit one of the local Bribri communities. So the Bribri are one of the largest indigenous communities within Costa Rica and I was quite intrigued to find out more about that and we had an absolutely fantastic day with Juanito, our local guide, um, and he brought us to visit a local Bribri family who live as part of the Bribri community. They showed us where they live and it was interesting to find out about their traditions and cultures. They're not entirely remote and removed from modern or western traditions. So, for example, some of the children go to the local school with non-indigenous kids. But they have maintained the heritage of their traditions. They have their own language, the Bribri language, as well as speaking Spanish. And life is centered around their beliefs and values. The creator of Cebu, spirits of nature, and their duty to protect and conserve the environment. They showed us some of their more traditional ways, like their hunting practices. They showed us the medicinal plants which they grow. They also showed us how they make chocolate. Cacao has a special significance as part of their culture and is often used on, on special occasions. So it was great to see the process. It's mine. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> yeah, concentrate. <laughs> After morning with the family, Juanito took us to a local waterfall where we spent the afternoon. We met a local family, we swam in the waters. Juanito had also brought the remaining cacao with him for us to cover ourselves in before baking in the sun. Apparently, it's great for the skin. I don't need to be told twice to cover myself in chocolate and I have to say my skin was silky smooth. So overall, what are some of the things that I've learned about community-based tourism? Well, there's definitely an economic side to it and making sure that the money you put forward goes back to the local community. 
So for example, with Atec, it's something like 75% of the tour cost, which goes back to the local guides and to the local communities directly. And that means that they can take more ownership and more responsibility for how the tour is run. Um, they can use tourism as a tool for economic development, sustainable development, or whatever their needs might be. It was also interesting when I was having a chat with Juanito to uh, find out that I think um, the information that is shared and the discussions that I had can probably change on a day-to-day -day basis depending on who the tourists are, what their interests are, and the, the discussions that are that, that I had. Likewise, I'm very certain that there are probably many tourists which uh, can get very annoying to them, um, particularly those tourists that come along with bad attitudes, but at least they can take control over the narrative, they can set the ground rules for how the day is run. So it puts more control back in their court, basically. From the tourist perspective, I think obviously there's a huge amount to be learned. It's super interesting to find out about different traditions, different cultures, and that was absolutely interesting. There was an awkward side to it. You know, it does feel like you're walking around somebody's home. But sometimes I wasn't quite sure what was going on, especially at the beginning. Um, luckily, we were in a very small group. It was just two of us in our group, um, but it can still feel a little bit intrusive. Um, whether that's because of how this particular tour or day was run or my attitude towards it, I'm not sure. But I will be doing other community-based tours uh, throughout my trip. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare uh, compared to this one. Um, but overall, it really was an interesting day. I learned a lot um, and it was a very, very good opportunity to go visit the Ruby community. So thank you very much to Atec and I would hugely recommend anybody to go check them out if they're in Puerto Viejo. Um, and thank you very much.